My name is Dr. Alan Klein from the Cleveland Clinic. I'm director for the Center for the Treatment and Diagnosis of Pericardial Diseases. I'm the uh, co-global PI for the study entitled Rhapsody, Rolanicept and IO-1 alpha and IO-1 beta trap resolves pericarditis episodes and reduces risk of recurrence in a phase three trial of patients with current pericarditis. The background of the study is that recurrent pericarditis is a very chronic, debilitating, auto-inflammatory disease, often requiring months to years of treatment. Currently, there's no FDA-approved therapies and very non-specific non immunosuppressants are commonly used, such as NSAIDs, colchicine, or steroids. Now, unfortunately, steroids is the culprit with significant morbidity. And recently, interleukin-1 has been implicated as a key mediator of recurrent pericarditis. Rolonicept is a, a once-weekly IO-1-alpha and IO-1-beta cytokine trap. Uh, Rhapsody is a global, double-blind, placebo-controlled, randomized withdrawal phase three study. The inclusion criteria are patients with the least second pericardial recurrence, with pain above a certain level, uh, more than four out of 10, and a CRP level more than equal to one milligram per deciliter. They could be on any combination of standard of care therapy, including NSAIDs, colchicine, or steroids at the initiation. And multiple etiologies, including post-viral and post pericardiomyene syndrome. The design of the study was after a screening period uh, there was a run-in period where the individuals get a loading dose of Rolanicept and then a weekly injection. This is a 12-week period. The uh, Rolanicept is given 160 milligrams sub-Q weekly, and there's stabilization of the medicines and tapering of all the background pericardial medic medications, including NSAIDs, colchicine, and steroids, to uh, Rolanicept monotherapy. If the patients have a clinical response, then they're randomized one-to-one -one in a double-blind, placebo-controlled, randomized withdrawal design um, to Rolanicept, 160 milligrams sub-Q weekly, or a blinded placebo sub-Q weekly. Uh, and the primary, primary um, efficacy endpoint is the time to pericarditis recurrence. Uh, the major secondary efficacy endpoints is the proportion of patients maintaining clinical response, percent of days with no or minimal pain, and the proportion of patients with absent or minimal pericarditis symptoms. Once again, the hypothesis of the trial is that once weekly, Rolanicep resolves active episodes of pericarditis and decreases uh, recurrence risk. Well, uh, the results show that in terms of baseline uh, demographics and clinical characteristics, um, is as expected in real world pericarditis, it is mainly a white population, more females than males. Uh, the mean age was 44.7 years. Uh, the age range from, was 18 to 64. Uh, the number of episodes to get into the study was a mean of 4.7 episodes. Uh, most of the patients were idiopathic. Roughly 15% were post pericardiotomy syndrome. Uh, the bulk of the patients were on some combination of NSAIDs, colchicine, or steroids. Uh, they were quite active in terms of active pericarditis. Uh, they had an NRS pain score at a 10, 6.2 to qualify and their CRP was quite high of 6.2 milligrams per deciliter. Uh, over a third of the patient had pericardial fusion, 50% had rubs, 
90% uh, uh, at S elevation or PR depression. The results of the study show that in the run-in period, Rolonicept initiation resulted in a rapid resolution of acute pericarditis episodes. So in other words, the pain uh, scale, NRS, the CRP rapidly decreased after the first Rolonicep dose. And the other exciting result was that all patients on steroids were successfully tapered and transitioned to monotherapy Rolonicep during the run-in. In terms of the primary, primary efficacy endpoint, Rolonicep reduced the risk of pericarditis recurrence quite dramatically. The um, hazard ratio was 0 0.04, the p-value less than 0 0.001, with a risk reduction compared to placebo of 96%. There essentially was two events in Rolonicept versus 23 events in placebo. There was a lower annualized incidence of pericarditis recurrence while on treatment. At study entry, there were 4.42 episodes per year. In this randomized withdrawal period, it was, went down to 0 0.15 episodes per year. No patient receiving open label velonicept ex experienced the recurrence during the remainder of the randomized withdrawal. In addition, uh, velonicept maintained improvements in symptoms and disease severity and met all its major secondary efficacy endpoints at the uh, week 16. For example, a uh, proportion of uh, patients who maintained clinical response at week 16 was 81% in Rolonicept and only 20% in placebo. The proportion of patients with absence or minimal pericardial symptoms based on a six point GPI IPS score, which is um, uh, quality life at, at week 16, 81% in Rolonicept, 25% in placebo. And for a set of days with no or minimal um, pericarditis-like pain in the first 16 weeks was 98% with Rolonicept and 46% with placebo. Uh, generally, Rolonicept was very well tolerated with no major drug-related serious adverse events. The most common um, events were injection site reactions and upper respiratory tract infections. Um, adverse events were consistent with the U.S. FDA-approved Rolonicept label for a syndrome called CAP syndrome, which is cryopyrin-associated periodic syndrome. The main conclusion was, quite dramatically, Rolonicept resolved acute episodes and reduced risk of pericarditis recurrence. In patients with symptomatic recurrent pericarditis failing standard of care therapy, Rolonicept, which is a once a week injection, resolved acute episodes. It reduced risk of recurrence by 96%. Rolonicept supported steroid tapering and discontinuation and obviated initiation in colchicine resistant patients. And finally, um, improved quality of life throughout the study. Currently, Rolonicept is under uh, breakthrough, breakthrough um, um, designation for the FDA. And I know uh, that the um, company Conixa is, um, is applying for FDA approval. Uh, I am not privy to uh, when this will be approved, but uh, I would think um, within the next year um, it may be approved. But I'm not privy to that information. I think the Rhapsody trial showed that Rolonicept is very, very effective in treating acute episodes of pericarditis and reducing risk of recurrence. Currently, there is no FDA approved therapies. So I think you may see a paradigm shift using Rolonicept as monotherapy. Clearly, I think if you're steroid dependent as well as colchicine resistant, you may have a drug that allow you to use uh, uh, monotherapy, 
And in the future, if, um, if instead of prednisone, uh, rolonisab may be an earlier uh, drug to use to help this very debilitating disease in, in patients. Recurrent pericarditis is basically a global disease. Uh, at Cleveland Clinic, we, you know, we have a pericardial center where we see patients from all around the country and actually all around the world. And patients are very, very limited um, because of their symptoms of recurrent pericarditis. And there's really no FDA drug out there that allows to, them to treat the acute episode or to lower recurrences. And now in the future, you may have a FDA approved uh, drug based on the Rhapsody study, which can help uh, provide relief.